On today's episode of Identity, innovator Stuart Ndlati pops by for coffee. We learn more about Setswana cultural dancing with the Ditakaadu cultural group. We review a travel and tourism app and a website for easy on-the-pocket cooking. And Mzizo Light plays us out. An individual with an imagination My inner faith illuminates innovations In a space with infinite inspiration I was born free from all incarceration Incredible, living infallibly Intelligent, outshine with my inner being This is me, impeccable as ever been I am you, you are me This is my identity Moloeni enkosi mbukele inkuwe nkole za shukene eyo lucha Heza kuni ngata ni kali veke nge nchiseko Ni bukele identity ndi ngumsasa zuwenu uviwe kuwana June 16 is one of the most significant days in South Africa as it commemorates a day when thousands of students protested against an unjust education system in 1976. Many of those students were brutally killed on that day and in their honour, this day is celebrated as Youth Day. We hope you enjoyed your Youth Day celebrations this past Thursday and that you continue to remember the significance of this day, especially as this year marks 40 years since the June 16 uprising. The identity team would like to wish all fathers and father figures a happy Father's Day today. As we recognize and honor the contribution that you make to the lives of your children, whether biological or not, we wish you a blessed day. I hope you're ready for 30 minutes of the best in spiritual entertainment. All you have to do is settle down and enjoy what we have in store for you this morning. For starters, let's meet today's guest. The gentleman joining me today is an innovator at heart with a passion for youth development and education. In 2002, Stuart Ndaiti started a science club to share a passion for science and technology with his peers. 13 years later, the small science club Stuart started is now called the Stuart Ndaiti Science, Engineering and Technology Institute, for short, SNSET, a platform for young, creative and ambitious tech minds to meet and develop their skills. The institute has grown rapidly with over 30,000 youth participating in various programs. I was intrigued by his bio so I invited him for coffee, cupcakes and a chat. Stuart, welcome to Identity. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Please, let's get it started. Let's find out about your upbringing. Tell us about it. Um, I was born in 1987, Tuesday the 3rd of March, in a village called Tau, just outside Northwest. But I, um, just two days after I was born, I moved to Tlaxstop, which is... Um, a mining town in a mining city rather in the northwest okay. and that's where the best years of my life I spent um, I wouldn't really say I grew up like any other kid I think my childhood was very uh, different when most of my peers were going through puberty mm -hmm. where most of my peers were playing soccer running around the streets I was uh, very obsessed with science engineering and technology my passion with science and technology dates back to the year 2000, when I was 13. Mm -hmm. And um, that's how it all began. And um, it was difficult uh, growing up with a passion and interest in science and technology because coming from a, t a black township where people think you're crazy, mm -hmm. you're mad, you know, as opposed to, go to playing soccer, singing, mm -hmm. arts and culture and so on. So doing science, engineering and technology and technology at such an early age uh, kind of like brought um, a bit of um, a burden mm. in growing up mm -hmm. but it's something that I quickly uh, learned to manage. Mm -hmm. So you speak about uh, the challenges of growing up uh, and you mentioned the word burden you know yes. and when you come across challenges I'm sure your spirituality helps you get through those challenges. Mm. How and when was spirituality introduced in your life? I come from a a, a family that uh, holds spirituality very high, mm -hmm. you know, and um, growing up, we grew up in a family where you, we pray every morning, we pray for lunch, we pray for dinner, and we pray before sleeping. And it was very interesting for me because um, being an uh, aspiring scientist mm -hmm. and at the same time having to believe in a supernatural power was very um, influential in my upbringing. And I was very fortunate that the same year I became a member of an organization called Youth for Christ SA, mm -hmm. 
which I attended the uh, youth development camps uh, for more than five years. Mm -hmm. It really shaped me and it really ensured that spiritually I'm strong and uh, driven. Okay. Yeah. What really inspired or sparked you to become so interested in technology and engineering? Um, various factors did. You remember that after 1994, South Africa was, um, was just moving from an old era to a new era and a lot of technology was coming into the country. Now this technology uh, flagabusted me and as such I developed an immense interest in the field. And having uh, developed this interest, I started participating at various science, engineering and technology programs. And being the only black child, particularly from my province, this uh, inspired me to start an after-school science club where I would then share my learning and experiences with my peers. And you're very passionate about young people. Uh, tell us what your organization is about and why you actually started it. The Stuart and Clarty Science, Engineering and Technology Institute, or uh, the SNZ Institute as it, as it is famously known, is an organization that is committed to promoting the interest of science, engineering and technology amongst the youth of South Africa and abroad. Ours is to ensure that the, the country and the entire continent has enough supply of scientists, engineers, technologists and mathematicians. So what we do at the Institute, we design programs for young people uh, that will ensure that they excel in science, technology, engineering, mathematics and innovation. Thousands, hundreds and hundreds of students out there in the country, they are struggling to understand how do they put uh, the theorem of Pythagoras into real, you know, how do they solve for x, you know, how do they determine the value of x in, in the real world. And uh, we design programs and we take things such as Madiba Bridge and show them how trigonometry, angle of elevation and calculus played a pivotal role in designing and bringing that uh, bridge into life. So our programs have attracted not less than 150,000 uh, learners and we've got 30,000 satisfied uh, beneficiaries. Mm. Tell us what subjects should one undertake in high school in order to be able to secure a place in the career that you've chosen? Um, without any doubt you have to do pure mathematics and not uh, maths literacy and then you can couple your pure mathematics uh, with accounting, with physical science, with geography, with life sciences and obviously uh, English as your, as your command language. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. How important is it for you to balance your spirituality um, in being with, in business and working with young people because usually people speak about hard facts when it comes to business and skills development and looking after young people mm -hmm. but they forget about the, the trade-off when it comes to spirituality. Mm -hmm. Well, it is very important that uh, your, all the aspects of your life, be mental, physical, spiritual, are balanced. But uh, what makes spirituality to stand out amongst all these is that it seem, it seems to be the basis of all other aspects of one's life. And it doesn't matter with which religion, just spirituality on its own. And uh, once it's balanced, it can never be really 100% balanced, but once it's balanced, uh, you reach some certain level of peace and with that level of peace you're able to enjoy whatever career you are in. Mm -hmm. You've said a, a mouthful which is very powerful but tell us if there's young, a young person at home who's looking at you and wants to be like you or follow in your footsteps, mm -hmm. what advice would you give them? It's very simple. Geniuses themselves don't talk about the gift genius. They speak of hard, hour, um, hard work long hours and perseverance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what are your future plans when it comes to your organization and helping your community and young people? I'm left with six years in the organization before I step down and we will appoint a, an 18 year old CEO. Mm -hmm. We believe that the organization has been able to succeed because of young people driving young people. We have designed a formula which we call youth to youth, you know, Y to Y formula which ensures that the organization excels. Upon my resignation from the institute, I will remain involved uh, passively. I would uh, venture into space sciences 
and um, I want to be one of the first settlers in the year 2022 in planet Mars. Hmm, okay then. Yes. <laughs> and speaking about settling, you know, we're going to settle into a quick word game. So yes. we're not all that serious here on identity. We do play some games here and there. Oh, <laughs> so you're ready for our word game? Let me, let's hope I can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the, the word game is called Guess the Person. You need to guess the person's name correctly. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. She was nicknamed Mama Africa, was a Grammy Award winning singer and a civil rights activist. Miriam Makeba. He was the first South African in space. Max Schwarzenegger. He's a superhero. His weakness is kryptonite. I have no idea. Mm, Superman. <laughs> Superman. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. He was a German-born theoretical physicist and developed the general th theory of relativity. Sir Albert Einstein. Mm. She was described as Queen of African Pop, and her fans called her Mabr. Brenda Fass. Mm -hmm. He's one of the country's youngest innovators, the inventor of a 15-in-1 microwave oven, and is the founder of a science and technology institute in the Northwest. Senthati. Oh, yes, Stuart and Thati. Thank you so yes. much for joining us on Identity. You're welcome. Thank you. In Chisako ka Stuart, you're going to be able to get your money. You're going to be able to get your money. You're going to be able to get your money. You're going to be able to get your money. You're going to be able to get your money. You're going to be able to get your money. It's now time for a short break. When we return, we take a look at today's regional story, which features a Setswana cultural group. And be sure not to miss our media review segment. Today, we check out a South African travel and holiday advisor app, as well as a website to help cooking on a student budget a bit easier. See you in a moment. This is my identity. This is my identity. Welcome back to Identity, the nation's favorite multi-faith youth show, right here on SAPC One Zanzi for Show. I'm Viewer Kuala. Thank you for staying tuned. Ibala nam slange di sipeki se zitratwen za setup simple e soweto. Apo kona sitkute imi ni sifuna ngu bushe ba matwana na malunga e ditagad. Kan jwang elibali elifu isi tiziyo. This is my identity. Itagadu, which means Artfax in Setswana, is a cultural group based in Dobsonville, Soweto. Much like Artfax, these young people's gifts lie in their feet, and they use their agility and strength to celebrate their culture through dance. The Takadu Cultural Group is a group of people who are in 2009. So, we have to go to the park. 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 Perseverance is the mother to success. How can I see this is going to be a good thing? Or not to talk about that. Because that culture is a tad. If you let the way that that culture is, then let's get into the beauty. Get into the people who are not just strong. We are not talking about how much we love our country. How much we want to see the country. How much we want to see the country. But we want to see the beauty. We are born. We are born. We are not just talking about the culture. We are talking about the culture. Ribua kasi chosarona, sisi tohiling cover remu kolowarona. So, kolowo nti ritemu kala kore, bato wale wanti baratile ko pasalango mo ya ya sekwa mo ra. So, rleba tuana rleka kore, rlemu seva tuana baba mo kore. Mwaya kau kimi mwaya kau tla milewe salama ra huska wa ratango tabatwa ba hum ya kau yano bisi ya kumara. Kona lili niki mosezo le moto melo kahore dote pedi te dzama mo kau nuni na mosezo mioso na tu melo tunzu tu melo pili kono tatla mto rusto sa kosta masak tu taka du du tu sengwa na ke ka. Les diligents, quand on a un peu de sens, c'est tout. Quoi la paix A quel moment la paix est à la vie de la vie La vie de 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 la
jano kharitsa mai re fellwa ke setso motseleng ra gore ano sa ma generation by generation wa se ke se njoya thata thata ke gore sa le ka bine thakadu go di plaque tse dintse thata tse ke se ke ditse tsela go ne ke sa ditse ke thutile gore ha lo motswana o tshwantse gore o lebegeyang le diketso le go gotletsa basha go ba tsene ngwao ya bona bo ya boshwa o ne thakadu ke njoya go re ke na le thakatsa ka re di ga so se re se ratang ngwao ya rona re thuta go le go ntse ka go itshola le go rata batho ja ka gore go rata mino a ga eh culture ka setswana ga te ga bo motho go thebe patso ya nong setswana o culture mo le mo tsentse o iso marelo o sekale bala go tswa nteng ka gore o ka setse go ya nteng setse go tswa nteng The attire worn by the dancers not only sets them apart from other cultural dance groups but each combination is of great significance sa prosa se tswana ke simola ka fa ke mphetshane ya paramoloto go itsireletsa go go tlhabiweng se se bidwa matlhao ke se se rang sound go gaubina e le moribo wa setswana e ka fa ke seditse gaubina wa setsamaisa go foka pefo le go le go ntse go khabisa se se bidwa hunters back it's original from kuisan mara re le ba tsona ga idirisa le bona se se sone ke motsedi ba setwana se se tupobetseng se bidua sope ba golo ba rona ba pele 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 ga go tla tsena dilo tse di bidua ng bodi ya paro bodi jini ene go aparu a solose se se bidua motsedi ga jalo ga re re rata setwana re dirisa setwana re dirisa se se tlogileng ka ba golo ba rona pele go bontsha gore rata setswana ga re se ipateletse e le ke le toisi la pora ke batswana bo megantsi ba paga go tlase ona re le bana ga paga go ntshontse yana ena ke matlhao go go khotsa music ga ke ndi instrument and then di tlhago ke ga mphetshane go bina ka yo tsena ke makhambe ne e di khala tsena tse pedi ke maro den blue on a representa meti den fike mu o melatin den fike mu se to ne ke pula de ho putsa ka ke gore ke batla go bona bana ba ba ka ba diruta bana ba bone se ke se ba rutileng ba se ka ba itebala e bile ba tlhompe ba golo ba bone ba ba rate le bone ba ithate the culture e ya go ruta ke ngwa o boswa o se ka ba itebala go tswa nteng ke sone se o vitlhela go tweng nkwa go momagala tshara thata e se rutlo se bodiwa khaoga o se ka wa latlhagelwa ke ngwa ya ga go o se ka wa latlhagelwa ke setso sa ga o ipile ka setso sa ga is my identity Thank you to Mekabelo Ngakani and the members of the Takadu for sharing their beautiful cultural story with us. Do you also have an inspiring religious or community uplifting story? Why not share it with us and our Mzansi for Show audience? Send a detailed email to identitytvshow@gmail.com and we might just take a short lift to your hood soon. Let's take one more break after which we head straight into our media review segment which features a local tourism app and a meal prep website for students. See you in a bit. This is my identity. This is my identity. Welcome back to Identity right here on SAPC 1 in Zanzibar for show. I'm Viewer Kwala. Ibala namhlanje liqale ngendlela ekhuthazana ikofu ikeke nencoko enzulu negatyane lamba phambili uStuart Mhlathi. Sazidika kwisiko lwamatswana namalunga edithakalo. Licesha ngokulokubona ezibonwayo. Nanku what's happening? If you're looking to help a friend visiting from abroad find their way around South Africa's top destinations or are planning on taking a trip to a part of the country that you're unfamiliar with, then today's app may be just what you need. It's called South Africa Trip Guide Travel and Holiday Advisor for Tourists. Let's check it out. The South Africa Trip Guide Travel and Holiday Advisor for Tourists app 
is a reference guide that offers incisive information about our country, from currency exchange to accommodation in different provinces with accurate prices. The homepage lists four tabs, which are cities and other places, embassies and consulates, currency calculator and accommodation. To get started, select the South African icon for a list of tabs to choose from. Select cities and other places for a list of possible destinations and select the city or province of your choice. Select the weather tab for a 12-day forecast, a detailed forecast or a long-term weather forecast. You can also find out about the country's climate according to the different months of the year. Need to get to your nearest embassy or consulate? Select the embassies and consulates tab for a list of the various embassies and their locations. Convert any currency to the South African Rand using the Currency Calculator option. You can also browse a list of hotels, motels and guest houses in your preferred location using the Accommodation tab. Make taking a short lift around South Africa a breeze with the help of the South Africa Trip Guide, Travel and Holiday Advisor for Tourist App. I love how technology continues to make things like taking a short lift around my country so easy. Now on to our next review. It's a website that aims to help make living and cooking on a student budget a little easier. It's studentrecipes.com. Created by a university student experiencing the struggles of living on a tight budget, studentrecipes.com is a website that offers quick, easy and affordable recipes for students by students. The homepage gives you quick access to the top rated and most viewed recipes as well as the YouTube video of the day and the most popular blog posts. The website offers various meal options such as pasta, soups, desserts, salads or meat-based meals. Once you've selected your meal of choice, select a recipe and get started. Each recipe offers a list of ingredients and the cooking method. It also has a comment section which you can refer to for ingredient suggestions or any challenges other students may have faced when trying out that particular recipe. If you have a recipe to share, select the Publish Your Recipe tab, add a title and upload a picture of the final product. You can then add a brief description of the recipe and select the category in which it belongs. Once that's done, add your list of ingredients, the cooking method, the serving size as well as any nutritional information you may have. Now all you have to do is click the Submit Recipe tab. If you're a student looking for a way to stretch your hand without skimping on meals, visit studentrecipes.com. Tomorrow marks World Refugee Day, a day that honors the spirit and courage of millions of refugees worldwide who have been displaced by conflict, persecution and violence. This day is also a chance for us to play a part in ensuring that those who are unfortunate enough to find themselves as refugees are treated with kindness and understanding. social media Funani Identity TV Show ku Facebook, ku Twitter o kanye ku Instagram. Mishambi is social media ayondoya kwangam. Anga su pegim was to mali email ku identity tv show at gmail.com. Today we're playing out with a track called Ingoma by Mzizo Light. Let's hang out again next Sunday at 11 a.m. on SABC One and Zanzi for sure. From me, if you work well and the identity team, goodbye. I'm not